I'm at the junkyard, so never mind the brutal ways. Uh, this is a master cylinder, brake master cylinder on a Hyundai. Uh, it's going to be 2010 to 2020. Maybe some people wonder how to remove this thing because they want to suck the fluid instead of when you bleed your brakes, instead of passing the old fluid all the way down to the brakes uh, and maybe even uh, if you let it lower too much you will suck air in there and that's a problem so don't do that uh, but uh, let's uh, let's see how to remove this uh, in a less uh, gentle way okay so this is a junkyard never mind the uh, breaking things I'm going to use kind of a wire and I'm going to hook it let me just explain a bit Okay, let's just go for it and then I'll explain. I'm going to hook it at this corner here. Okay, so towards the front of the car, left side. I'll explain why. I'm going to just grab it by... Uh, obviously, this is going to puncture the mesh. We just place uh, that wire thing first. Kind of, okay, so I'm just grabbing it on the side and it's going to puncture it, obviously. Oops, and it went uh, down. Just retrieve it gently. So, um, I, I don't think it's really necessary to remove these things. Obviously, you are going to puncture it, so it's no longer going to uh, act as uh, intended, you can tell. Okay, let's just first see how this how this is staying in there. You see, at, this is the bottom part, right? This is the top. At the bottom part, you have this kind of bumps here. There is one there. There is another one there. On all these kind of plastic side strips, there it goes. You have a small bump at the very bottom, right there, right there. So there's like four bumps like this. And these bumps do not actually hook. Uh, where's my wire? There's no longer any wire around. So those bumps actually, if you look inside here, there is only one kind of cut on this side. So it's kind of the right rear side of, the, um, of this uh, reservoir, basically. You notice, there is only a cut right there, so basically only the the bumps that are positioned like this, only this bump and maybe that one are going to fall into that cut underneath and hook. So this rotates, but only this, the bumps that are going to be located at this angle perhaps, this one and this one, the two rear right ones are going to hook. The front ones are not going to hook because there is no edge to hook on it. I don't know how to explain more like this. So that's why I did hook it from this angle here because on this side there is no uh, bump that's hooking. That's why I pull it from there and only the rear would hook so the rear would just undo when I pull from this corner. I don't know how to explain this more. I don't know if it's really needed to explain this too, uh, uh, this much in detail, but I don't think you really need to remove the mesh unless, I don't know, maybe you want to see the level or something like this. So basically I did hook, uh, where's my wire? This is kind of a, a junkyard, uh, uh, unscripted video but I did hook where is it that I did hook it maybe like this okay so I did hook it from this angle again I should look at towards the front of the car at an angle like this I did hook it here on the side front left and I just hook it underneath here in the middle and pull it somehow this way and boop, out it went um, but I think if you just pay attention uh, it's a good idea, obviously, when you um, when you uh, replace the fluid uh, of your blades, maybe just open the front uh, left caliper so you have a direct view of the reservoir and you don't let it drop too low. Uh, and then you start bleeding here. Obviously, the fluid is going to lower. Again, this is on a Hyundai. You have the max there and the minimum sits quite low here. Let's just uh, pause this wire. So this is the minimum. But you see, they... 
uh, suction points are right underneath and I would say if you let it lower maybe not lower than this kind of uh, was like a pipe that was used to refill it so no long no lower than the middle of this small kind of pipe it's going to be fine you won't suck air from those uh, the inlets from the master cylinder so maybe no lower than the middle of this thing here be careful don't go lower than it uh, and you are going to be safe so let the fluid maybe uh, drop uh, this is the minimum low 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 and it reaches the middle of this guy middle on of it right stop and then re refill with fresh and this way you are not going to mix too much old with fr uh, fresh fluid so just my tip I don't think it's really worth maybe you want to remove that thing but you actually don't have really access even with the holes you don't have access right to the bottom of the reservoir through this opening you perhaps are going to go as low as the minimum level with the hose so it's not really worth to try squeeze the hose in there and suck the bottom of it uh, suck it suck the fluid all the way to the bottom so okay maybe just a suggestion I've seen a couple of people uh, wondering how to remove these uh, meshes uh, uh, it's not just Hyundai all car makers put them and uh, they are not removable that's stupid but there you go